In this advertisement, they are making fun of people who use Apple products. This is not a great way to show comparison. Oh, you're a Samsung user, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're an iPhone user, you obviously don't understand quality technology. Bearclaw Creative exists for one thing and one thing only. It's taking small brands and medium-sized brands and turning them into the fullness of what they could be. There are just so many brands out there trying to be somebody else. You don't have to be Nike, you don't have to be Apple, you don't have to be a billion dollar company. Be the brand that you want to be. It's too often that I see smaller brands try to take on the big dogs, the billion dollar companies, without the resources to actually do it. We find people that are actually going to interact with your brand, that actually want to buy from you over and over again. We connect with them on so many levels, whether it be through social media, through advertisement, through SEO, SEM, whatever it takes. We make sure that the brand that you want to be is showcased to the people who actually want to work with you. Hi, my name is Cody. I'm the owner of Bear Claw Creative, and today we're going to be talking about the next step in the marketing funnel. That is comparison. Now, in the comparison step in our funnel, we are talking about comparing our company to other companies. One of the most famous comparison advertisements, one of my least favorite comparison advertisements, is the Samsung versus Apple comparison ad. In this advertisement, Samsung tried to paint a poor light on Apple products and people specifically who use Apple products. In this advertisement, they are making fun of people who use Apple products. This is not a great way to show comparison. While this does make a convincing ad, I'd say that it painted a poor light on Samsung. The reason being, it now seems like Samsung is a rude, arrogant brand when in reality they were just trying to say our technology is better than apple's this of course is subjective an apple product may be good for you if you use all of the apple suite in comparison samsung is not that different if you do not have a samsung tablet a samsung phone a samsung smartwatch it's just another cell phone what this did was it alienated groups of individuals Oh, you're a Samsung user, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you're an iPhone user, you obviously don't understand quality technology. So this is what we don't want to do. We don't want to segment out a group of people and alienate them and say, you are not a part of us, this is only for us. Now what you can do is you can take it into a positive way, meaning it had nothing to do with Apple. Our group does this. If they were trying to build a tribe by doing this, they didn't succeed, I would say. Samsung users are always looking for the next in a technological advancement. This is a better statement than Apple products do not try to advance technology. Both statements are saying the exact same thing. Apple products don't do this. Samsung products do do this. So in the comparison step, we are looking at what makes our company different than every other company that does what we do. Now, it could be one major thing. Like Bear Claw Creative, we specifically have a group of individuals that are presenters that can do YouTube videos like this. In a way, you're actually building up your own influencer that works for your company. For other brands, you have other things that make you very specific and different, such as Tom Shoes. They specifically give back to people who are in need. In fact, they were one of the first major giveback brands. So in this step, we want to be able to say, this is what we do, or this is the people that work with us. Both are quality statements. Our people do this. Our people look like this. Our people are this. And this has to do more with psychographics than demographics. The tribe that we have accumulated, the tribe that we have accumulated looks and sounds and acts and thinks like this. Now that we've got people to this step, after we've already educated them on what we are, who, what we do, what makes us different, now we're in comparison, what makes us different from other companies. Now we've finally reached the last step. If you have successfully done awareness, consideration, and comparison, conversion would finally follow. 
the individual has purchased or done whatever it is that you're asking them to do. Now, after we've hit conversion, we have another step called delight. I'm making a separate video about delight. It's very important to remember to make sure that you are make, taking care of the customer after the purchase. Many people say thank you for your money, wipe their hands, and move on to the next individual. Repeat customers are what keeps you in business. So make sure that you subscribe and follow and you like this video so that more people can see this kind of content. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cody of Bearclaw Creative. I will see you guys next time.